Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn a new tune. We're going to learn the tune I Want to Be Like You from The Jungle Book. Uh, it's a cool little jazzy tune, has a nice little New Orleans-y kind of vibe and I think you're going to really enjoy this. It's a little bit tricky on the clarinet uh, in the key we're doing it in, um, but hopefully with practice you'll get there. So I'm going to play it down through so you can hear how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so it's a really cool little tune, and uh, there's a couple of little tricky bits in there we have to look at. Now we're going to look at the first two lines. You'll notice um, when I was playing, I was repeating them. There's a first time bar and a second time bar. So when you come through the first time, you go into the box with the number one, it, one in it, and the second time you repeat back. When you come through the second time, you go into the second time box. And the note D there is a really important note to take us into the, the next part of the tune. Okay, so there's some notes in here that we need to look at. We're in the key of G, okay, G major, so make sure you familiarize yourself with that. But in these first two lines we've got D sharp and C sharp. And these notes are not in the scale of G, they're being brought in from its related minor scale, which is E minor, E melodic minor. That's where they're coming from, okay? So, you'll find out about that at another point in your musical journey, so don't worry too much about that, um, just so you know where they're coming from. So D sharp on the clarinet, two fingers, one, two, and you're going to play, press this bottom of these four here, that one there, okay, D sharp, can also be called E flat. The other note there is your C sharp, your low C sharp, three fingers, and then this little key here, see that one in there, the inside one, all right, so you've got to work them. So you need to practice that kind of movement, C sharp to D sharp. That's the tricky part there. Okay. All right. Okay. Now I'm gonna we're gonna look at the third line. The third line and going through fourth, fifth lines, you've got a lot of movement between the B, the B, which is around our break area. If you remember previous few videos, three videos I did that build built us up towards the break. So being able to play B to other notes and other notes to B. Here it is in a tune for you to put that into practice. So you're going B, B, G. Okay, so there's B, there's B to G, there's B to E, there's B to F sharp in this whole section. So you need to work on that and practice that. Now, uh, another note in here that you we've talked about before in previous videos, but is in these uh, third and fourth lines, you've got the note G sharp. G sharp is this side one here, and you're just leaning on it there. So it's just this one here, all right? Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, I'm just going to play down through, um, but I'm going to play... Uh, from the beginning and I'm going to play as if it's the second time and I'm going to go to that second time box just so you hear how that moves from there to the third line that D, that low D is very important Okay, so make sure you get that D in uh, really good before you go to that uh, third line. All right, it's a good, fun little tune. It is a bit tricky on the clarinet, definitely, but with a bit of practice, 
um, you'll get there. And it's bringing in some of the things that you're hopefully working on up towards the higher part of the clarinet now, and we're putting them into practice on a really cool little tune. Okay, so good luck, and I hope to see you soon playing this tune. Bye for now.